What are some guy secrets girls don't know about? We can spend hours with our best friends and not say anything of significance. This conversation happens once a month. What did you guys talk about? Nothing. How's his wife? I don't know. Good I think. Are his kids enjoying their new school? What new school? You spent 6 hours with him. You really talked about nothing exciting? We tried to make the best possible baseball team using only names that start in R. There are significantly fewer secrets than you think. So we are still not going to tell the women about. Edit. I had to remove my original comment because I have revealed the one secret we are not allowed to reveal. I hope I can survive probation and earn my man card back. Damn. Be cool dude. Next we'll have to explain the magical table that makes dishes clean themselves. Men can frequently spend hours together and not talk about anything significant. If your husband slash boyfriend went out to play golf with his buddies and you ask him afterwards what did you talk about. He's probably not lying if he says nothing. He didn't go golfing to gossip. He went golfing to play golf. Dad, no joke. This is an exact conversation my mom and dad had last weekend. Dad and I went golfing. We went back to their house for dinner and my mom asks what we talked about. Nothing. Really? You talked about nothing? We talked about our golf shots. You know. Nice hit. Ah oh man you lifted your head up. Probably use the pitch instead of the sand. Wind is strong. That's about it. 100%. Spot on. Fathers often don't teach sons about sex. They just expect sons to learn it elsewhere. Ha. Ah, my talk came up on the way to a pro baseball game when I was about 9. The family mentioned something about a hooker and my dad looks back in the car and says do you know what a hooker is? And I said yeah. And that was that. Never talked about it again. Also that's the talk. When I say I don't care, it means I don't care. To elaborate, I'm filled with apathy. Being forced to contribute to the conversation or solution would be the only disagreeable outcome for me. You know the meme with the couple facing opposite sides? Yeah well it's accurate as frick. 99% of the time, when you think we are having some thoughts about really deep issues, or cheating on you, we are just thinking about random stuff like, do bald guys shampoo their heads or just use regular soap? So stop worrying. We use regular soap. Edit. It's worth saying, that soap is just one of your options. I use soap. Lots of guys do. But lots use coconut oil, shampoo, and other products. Ultimately, do what leaves your skin healthy. We don't miss the toilet seat on purpose, or have bad aim. Sometimes the stream is hard to direct, and sometimes there's more than one. The double stream is a freaking nightmare. When that happens I just let it go and accept I'm gonna have some cleaning to do. That in a typical day, nothing happens where we feel the need to share details with anyone. I know more about my wife's job slash company slash co-workers than I do my own. Sometimes we really are just thinking about nothing important. Just staring off into space imagining what we'd do if ninjas suddenly attacked this room. What would happen if a zombie apocalypse happened right now? Would I live? Would I use this bench I'm sitting on to barricade the door? I'm pretty much dead. Never mind. What would I do if the zombies were super fast? Would I just accept death? Nah. Or some stuff like this. We can come home from a long day at work and be perfectly happy sitting quietly not speaking a word at home watching TV or eating dinner with you. We are not mad or upset at you. That is just the way we are. I call that screen save mode. My husband's a little bit introverted and his job unfortunately has him talking to people the whole day. So when he comes home, I greet him and then I leave him alone until he starts to bug me. I'm fine doesn't necessarily mean I'm fine right now, but that I will be, and if you keep bringing it up, 
it's going to make it worse. I'm angry, but I recognize that my anger is irrational slash unreasonable slash unjustified and or not worth fighting over, and I need time to process my emotions and want to get over it on my own. Or, the other 70% of the time, I'm actually fine. When we tell you we are trying to lose weight, we aren't asking you to compliment our bodies. We are bringing it up. Because our uncles have quadruple bypasses and the doctor told us we have high blood pressure. If a guy says he's not thinking about anything, he really means it. My wife will frequently ask what is going on, believing that I have something weighing on my mind, or that I'm upset, but nope, mind is blank. Quiet is just sometimes nice. So, it's sometimes nothing, but the more accurate option is it's something mind-numbingly boring, or absurd and you don't want to articulate it. Case in point, I was recently doing maths in my head regarding leveling my runescape herbalism up to 99. Not really gonna explain that. We are suckers for compliments. Most attractive women receive compliments on a regular basis, even if they don't want it. Most men never get complimented on their looks or style. This makes it so much more precious when it happens, and it means a whole lot. Not even a joke, we will write the high off a random compliment for weeks, and even years later, if it pops into our heads we will smile, and it will still put us in a good mood. Once a girl checked me out in the street and smiled, blushing. That was in 2014. We look in the mirror and think, I'm actually not that bad looking. Edit, it's not all the time. But guys that have trouble, try looking for things you like about yourself as opposed to the reverse. Yeah not bad, but not that great either. A, could be worse. After you and your bro argue, as soon as you hang out again it's all good, no issues. That's it. If there's a problem. We settle it, and draw a line under the whole thing. It only becomes an issue, if there's unfinished business. Then we settle the business and move on. You could just duke it out, shake hands, and go grab a beer. Or a hug. Honestly, I've hugged it out with a homie after a fight. That dating and dealing with rejection makes a lot of men feel unwanted and unattractive. Some of us have just given up to and that's why we ignore your hints. Yeah I just default to she is really polite slash funny, good on her. Now, if I act on their hints, and they weren't hints, then I'm a creep. If I don't act on their hints, because I can't tell they are hints or just unsure, then I can't take a hint. It's a dangerous game, and I stick to the she's being nice idea too. We'd like to be spoiled sometimes. Enjoy hearing we are handsome. Like hearing our efforts are appreciated. Would like to feel secure too. I love showering my boyfriend with compliments. Also whenever he gets out of the shower I always catcall and whistle at him. I didn't do it a couple weeks ago because I was not paying attention. After he got dressed he came and sat next to me and asked if I was okay. I said yeah why. He said I didn't whistle at him and thought I must be mad. I said no, but he looked a little sad. I asked if he liked it when I did it. He sheepishly smiled and said yeah it makes me feel really good. It made me so happy that such a silly thing made him feel good about himself. Now he comes out and strikes a pose and I yell and go wild. I love him. When you ask, does this outfit look nice, and we say yes to all 13 of them, it's not that we are lying. It's usually that we don't care what you wear. Edit, other people are better at conveying messages better so to specify, by don't care I mean I have no idea about fashion and you look great no matter what. Be a true hero, and tell her when her outfit looks like garbage. Not looking to die today, but, thanks. We are scared to break down. Sometimes when it feels like the whole world is on your shoulders it's scarier to think what would happen if you asked for help and no one knew what to do, rather than asking for help at all. I miss being a kid. Too freaking real. Straight up. Also like, crying. 
I don't know about you guys, but I literally cannot cry, even when I'm faced with a lot of issues. It kinda sucks cause it's healthy to cry, but now I've forgotten what it's like, and I'm almost scared to cry, because people may think I'm weak. It's weird. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more videos like this. Don't forget to leave your stories in the comments below.